his preschool curricula include Jacob's New Dress, My Princess Boy, and Julian is a Mermaid. Yay. In Michigan, one education official is pushing the notion that a child can question his or her gender while still potty training. Kids have a sense of their gender identity between the ages of three and five. So about the time that kids have language, they can start to share with us whether they're a boy or a girl. Um, usually those are the only things that they will identify as because those are the only options we've given them. And in Idaho, Idaho. Mothers and fathers were shocked this week to discover the state's Department of Health and Welfare is implementing a sex ed curriculum endorsed by Planned Parenthood. And the training materials for this comes from a left-wing group with an innocuous name called Education Training and Research, or ETR. And that promotes what they call the queering of education and normalizing the consumption of pornography. Check out one of the instructional videos for teaching porn literacy. Critical thinking skills are the largest component of porn literacy. It's the ability for young people to analyze and ask questions about the media that they're viewing. Porn is meant to sexually excite a viewer and create fantasy, right? Um, and it gets worse. They advocate cartoon porn. Wow, that's so big. I never knew it could be so huge. Hey, Jane, what are you looking at? And of course, then there's the handy tips to students about how to hide their porn viewing habits from parents. Is that part of the normal experience too? I find that when I've normalized watching porn and being curious, students are a lot more engaged in the conversation, but they're also building trust with me. It's, it's okay if they have watched porn, porn, and it's okay if they have thought about porn. I always make sure to say someone being curious about sex and or porn does not make them a bad person, it makes them human. Special thanks to the Idaho Freedom Foundation.